Hello and welcome to Paper Play with Julie Kay. Welcome everyone and thank you so much for stopping by to check out my latest video. I'm really happy to have you guys watching today and today I'm unboxing a box from Gisela Clark. We were recently paired up in a swap um, in Amy Love's Facebook group for an altered composition notebook. I did post my video the other day and I'll be sure to leave that link below in the description box if you guys missed that. And so I'm really excited to see what Gisela sent. Um, she also is the owner of an Etsy store. I believe it's called Lavish Laces, but I will link that below also in the description box. She has gorgeous vintage trims in her shop and um, just some, some very unique pieces. I was looking at it the other week thinking that um, I might have to put in an order one of these times cause just because some of them are really unique. But anyways, um, Giselle and I were paired up and I know her package has been sitting at my post office box for about a week or close to it, but I've been traveling for work and I just got home last night and I did pick it up this morning. And so now I'm having a little bit of time to open it up. So I'm really excited about that. And so let's get into it. And she just sent it into a priority mailbox here. And she wrapped everything very lovely. It looks like inside of some beautiful pink tissue paper. And so I'll get all this out. It looks like she sent three little packages. And the swap was just for a composition notebook, but it looks like she sent some extras. I know I sent her a couple of extras too. And I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm assuming maybe this one feels like the composition notebook. So we'll open up that one last, but um, look at how beautiful she has wrapped all these. She made me a beautiful tassel, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous on that? Oh, that's so pretty. So I'm not quite sure if there's a particular order, so maybe we'll do this one first. And so she has a little note on here. It says, hopefully things in here don't get tossed around too much. So let's open it up. And I love when people um, wrap their little packages with ribbon that I can reuse on things. And this is a pretty little kind of a bluish color. And I'll definitely reuse the tissue paper too, I think. Um, sometimes I reuse my tissue paper when I make tags in my junk journals. They make, you know, if you crinkle it up and then use Mod Podge or um, like a matte medium and glue them down, they make a great background on tags. Ooh, look at this. Isn't this pretty? I'll zoom in a little bit so hopefully you guys can see it better. It's gorgeous. Some beautiful paper, lots of layering. And I don't, I think it's a box. Yeah, it's a box that she created. It says the little things and just some beautiful handmade flowers. Wow, this is really pretty, Gisela. Gorgeous. Ooh, and inside she's packed all sorts of wonderful goodies. I'll just hold that up so you guys can kind of check out the presentation. Isn't that gorgeous? Kind of like a, I think some of the ladies now are calling them little squirrel boxes. Um, but she put so many fun little things in here. I don't really know where to start. I don't think I'm going to hold up everything, but... In this little package here, she has some fun little rhinestones that I can use. And some gorgeous little, you know, shabby colors of buttons. And then there's a cute little, there's a couple little um, key charms in there, which I love those. So that's kind of what she has in this one. And in this one, she has some really pretty trims. And beautiful colors. Look at that pink one with little stars on it and a little peach and a beautiful little teal color and the white. These are really pretty. I could have used this color right here on the one that this would have matched perfectly on the one that I that I sent her um, the notebook that I sent her. This color was on that. So pretty. And then 
And this one up here. Well, these are fun. Some colored leaves. I don't, I just have white and green, so these are kind of fun to go with, you know, some of my flower making. There's pink and purple and kind of some pastel, multi-pastel colored ones. Very fun. So some little flower making stuff and some little clothes pins to alter and decorate. And then in here, it looks like she has some gorgeous little like snippets. These have pearls and sequins on them. These are beautiful. And some little flowers. So yeah, so that's pretty much what's in there then. There's a few more. I'm not going to take them all out. But I love these. These are so pretty. And then here it looks like a ton of handmade little rosette flowers. I love it. You must have been one busy girl making all these. So pretty and you can layer them on top of each other. Like that one could go there and then you could stick a little rhinestone in the middle of it. All sorts of wonderful colors in here. Pastel colors and vintage colors. Wow, really pretty. And look at this piece of bling. This is really pretty. I haven't seen that before with the purple pearls and some rhinestones on it. That's gorgeous. It's a little pin actually. That's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, I can't wait to use some of these on my flower making. And you can see that she decorated she made some of them and decorated the front of this box by layering up a couple of them. Like this one has a little, you know, bluish color and then there's a kind of a vintage white underneath. You know, pretty peach one. And a couple layers of off-white or ivory and then you can see the pretty little rhinestones that she added in the middle. And she included some of those for me so I can be able to make my own little flowers for things. So thank you so much for that. I love it. And then it looks like she included some fun little um, confetti. So thank you. I love it all. Thanks so much. So here's the second item that Gisela sent. And again, she has it wrapped in gorgeous trims. And there's quite a bit there, so I'm going to be able to, to make something with that. And then she sent a beautiful little card. So here's the beautiful card that she sent. And she has a nice little note in there. Ooh, there's some pretty things in here, ladies. Wow, some gorgeous, gorgeous trim. And I know some of this stuff looks like some of the trim that I have seen in her shop, in her Etsy shop. Aren't that, isn't that beautiful little trim? And then more appliques with the rhinestones and the pearls. I love these, these are so pretty. They're gonna have to save them for a special project. Oh, and look at this one. Wow, that is gorgeous. That one definitely is gonna have to be saved for something special. That one has all sorts of beadwork on it and pearls. Then it looks like the backs are stitched nicely on these ones so the beads aren't gonna fall off or they've been glued. So that's really nice. Oh, I love that one. That one is so pretty. Thank you so much for sharing some of your gorgeous laces, Gisela. Oh, look at that ivory one. Isn't that gorgeous? And then here's a sheer one with some embroidery on it. Oh, and then some pretty pink tulle. Then here's a beautiful wide lace one. This one's probably, I'm assuming, about six inches or so. That one's gorgeous also. And there's quite a bit there that she's sharing, so that's wonderful. I'll be able to use all of it. Thank you so much. Here's a nice little vintage looking one. Probably help if I showed you guys the right side instead of the back side. Isn't that beautiful? That one's gorgeous. 
Oh, look at this one. Oh, I love this one. Look at that beautiful vintage trim. How pretty is that? Wow, thank you so much. She has them all folded so nice and then here I am taking them apart and look at this one with the little, this one has little pink beads in it. That's really pretty. I've seen these before but they've always had like the, like the off-white or the ivory beads in them so I haven't seen one with pink before. And then she's sharing some of her beautiful little flower trim. I love trim like this. That's so fun to cut up and just use the little flowers on different projects. And then here's some pretty trim also. Look at that one, some cotton trim. This is kind of a pretty little peach color. And then here's kind of like a bridal tr type trim. I love this one. This is so pretty. This would look so elegant on so many different projects. Gonna have to save that one for something special too. So thank you so much, Gisela. I love them all. They're so pretty. So now again to the composition notebook that she sent. I'm really excited to open this up and see what she created. But I'm gonna have to stare at this little tassel for a little while. It's so pretty, so creative. She used it, she attached it on the front of the package. So I'll hold that up so you guys can check it out. But she attached some little Part of, I don't know if this was a, off of a necklace or what that she got that, but that's kind of a fun little accent piece on the tassel and then kind of some nice little vintage trims in this dangle and then a fun little bead at the top. So isn't that pretty? I love it. And then she had it attached to this gorgeous piece of kind of a rose satin color ribbon and then a bigger piece of lace and again very generous with the lace that she's wrapped around here so I'll be able to reuse this on a couple of different projects depending upon what I create with it but thank you so here is the gorgeous composition notebook that Gisela created and it looks like she used whatever the same paper collection that she did for the box and so many gorgeous layers and she added beautiful vintage laces and trims and then she tied hers closed with a little closure of another beautiful vintage trim. So let me take that off so we can check out this cover a little bit better here. So there was the trim that she had it wrapped on. Wow. I love it. It's so pretty. Look at that vintage trim that she has right there. It's pink and ivory colored. Beautiful. So many layers, some more of her little flowers, and then she has a fun little trim, vintage trim right here, like a little applique type trim. I know I saw that one in her shop. Some little rosettes. So pretty. And then there is the back side again, layered with so many beautiful trims. There's several. I'll hold it up close so you guys can kind of check out all the beautiful layers that she added. I love it. It's shabby and it's vintage, so it's wonderful. And then she even shabbied up the sides too, which I love. And then she created a beautiful little pocket with goodies on the inside. So here's the pocket and look at all the beautiful laces on this one. How beautiful is that? Look at all those pretty laces. I don't think I was quite that creative on the inside of my cover. I just put a piece of paper in a paper pocket. So she has, you know, a couple layers of beautiful laces here and then she also covered the inside back cover and that is beautiful also a little white peacock there thank you so much I don't know what paper this is if it's a prima paper kind of reminds me of a prima paper but I don't know 
Very pretty. And then she made a really fun little bookmark or a large tag. Again, with beautiful vintage trim on it. Oh, I love these. And then another fun tag. And this one that has a little spot here you could journal on it. All sorts of wonderful laces and trims and layering on these. So pretty. And then she sent me some bling with my initial on it. So I'll have to think of something to put the J on. Thank you. And then here's another one of those really long tags or bookmarks. I think I'm going to use one of them as a bookmark. I, I do read, so I think I'm going to use one of these as a bookmark. I have another friend that makes me bookmarks and I use them until they fall apart. So um, it'll be fun to have a new bookmark. Oh, and look at this beautiful little bag, little glassine bag that I don't know if she printed. She ran it through her printer or if she bought it that way, but it's really pretty. I'm gonna save that and use that in a journal. And then look at the little extras that she included. These are beautiful. You're gonna have to let us know, Gisela, what paper collection you used. Cause these are gorgeous. Definitely be able to use those in future projects. I'm gonna put them in there so they stay safe. And let's look at this notebook one last time. Oh. Yeah, once I'm done with uh, recording the video, I'll probably sit and look at it for a little bit longer and look at all the details, but she has so many fun layers. I just, beautiful. Thank you so much. I just wanted to thank everybody so much for watching today. And of course, I want to thank Gisela for a gorgeous, gorgeous swap. I'm so excited by everything. Um, the beautiful box that she created full of wonderful goodies, the extra laces and trims that she sent, and the tassel that she created, and the beautiful composition notebook. I can't wait to display your box in my craft room and and use your, your journal that you created for me. So thank you so much for that. And again, everybody, if you're not familiar with Gisela's YouTube channel, don't forget to open up that description box. I will have a link for her channel. And I will also link her Etsy store because like I said, I know she has some gorgeous vintage laces and trims in there. And I'm excited that she shared some of them with me and then also that she used some of them on on her creation. So thank you so much for that, Gisela. And until next time, everybody have a wonderful day and happy crafting.